you're going to push your hips back until you can touch the top of your knee. You're you got to move your hips back this way more. They're just not you're not pushed back enough. You're not in an athletic enough position. You should be able to take your trail hand and touch the top of your knee. Your hands are too high because you're you're not pushed back enough. All right. That's the first thing. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about going like this. Watch my hips. Yeah. Pushing your hips back a little bit. Yep. Yeah. All right. The club face, I think, is a little too open. I don't mind it to be a little open, but here, that's too much. Yeah. Well, just, did just. He did that time. Oh, yeah, it was pointed way to the right. See, look at this takeaway. What are you doing with the face? Um, it's rolling and it's going inside, right? Alright, now we're not going to correct all this today. I'm just going to show you, but I'm going to show you some ways to fix this. Alright, let me have one of your clubs. I don't want you to do this rolling and opening the face. You have really good hand eye coordination and you get away with it. But we're going to, your mechanics are, I haven't seen you this year, and we haven't done a, a full swing lesson. But under my watch, you're not going to be doing this stuff anymore. Okay, you're going to be doing this. Okay, this is a manipulation, meaning you're doing this is causing a timing issue because you're good enough, you can do it, but the more you move your club with your hands, the more you have to practice to get the face square. In other words, there's a lot of manipulation there. And you're trying to fix things by compensating, it's making it harder on yourself. If I open the face 40 degrees and I got to depend on timing to square it up, it's too much there. All right, so where should the club go back when you take it in that yellow area? Where should the club go? Um, Have, so watch this pro. This is Emiliano Grillo. Okay, where is his club going back? Right inside that track, right? Look at his triangle. See how the arms are against the chest? See how the upper arms are connected? Okay. That's where we got to go with you. So you got to lay a club on the ground at about a 11:30, not 12 o'clock. Probably about right there. And you got to get those two to line up. See how you're going way inside. So when you go in, now you got to lift, and then you're going to come over the top. So the more you go under, the more you got to go over. Right, so you're getting away with some things because of your ability. I really don't think it's the clubs. I, I think this has been there for a while, really. But it's not. Maybe you might you might be right about being pronounced. But now look, there's where I want you to go with your backswing. You're going under. Your hands are really high, so you know where I want your hands to be, lower. I want them to be across your right shoulder. Your left arm should be across your right shoulder. See how his hands are in the yellow area? Your hands are outside the yellow area. And then when he comes down, his hands are going in here. Now the shaft, you see how the club shaft is parallel to this line? That's on plane. You're you're pretty close to the plane, but it's a little steep. So this angle is a little steep. So you're coming in outside in a little bit there because of your backswing. Anytime you go under, you're going to go up and over. So you understand? Yeah. All right. Right. Right here. Right, so watch these guys. They don't do that. Okay, so don't worry about it. I mean, these are things that over time we're going to work on. And I'll show you another guy. This guy here, same thing. We, his name is Ben On. Same place. See how the shaft's parallel to his feet? And he goes up. Where's his left arm? 
It's in the cone. And then the shaft's parallel to the, the line coming down. Stays in the cone. So yeah, that's where we want to go. You're going up and a little over. Now, can you play good golf with that? Yeah. But it's a lot of stuff you got to manipulate to get it square. All that matters is the club face is square to the target line at impact. But how you get there is relevant. There's a little too much going on. All right.